Our next topic is IAS 12, which is the uh, income taxes. The income tax. This talks about other taxes also. It talks about the withholding tax. Uh, it talks about the deferred tax and the uh, company income tax. So all these are dealt with under this particular standard. So you know it uh, talks about how this should be accounted for in the books. How the necessary adjustment should be what should be made in our books of accounts so and uh, when are they you know when are we supposed to recognize them in our books so which one are we supposed to refer to as a uh, uh, deferred or de uh, which are uh, which one are we supposed to defer and which one are we supposed to incorporate into the uh, current uh, reporting period so in the course of this lecture we'll talk about the objective of IS 12 and then talk about the scope of IS-12, uh, definition of some key terms under IS-12, the recognition and measurement criteria, and the disclosure requirements for entity that adopt what? That adopt uh, IS-12. Here, you know, since tax is a compulsory levy that is either uh, le that is levied by government on individual or an entity. So it's a compo it's just composite that all entities must adopt this. So this must be paid except those country uh, companies or entity that are not paying what that are not paying tax. You know that are not uh, tax deductible. We say uh, or I mean what was it called? The activities are not subject to uh, tax uh, of the land. So except those ones, other entities are meant to adopt uh, IS 12. So what is really the objective of? Uh, IS-12. The key objective of IS-12 are to prescribe accounting treatment. How this should be treated. This we have talked about before. How it should be treated in our what, in our books. So other issues. So it comes. You know, it has come to tell us the difference between the distinction between uh, permanent and uh, timing differences. So when you say permanent and timing differences, you know, these uh, are arose. You know. Uh, as a result of a uh, distinction between accounting profits and uh, accounting profits and uh, uh, taxable profit, you know, uh, the, 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 the whatever accounting profit has been arrived at, you know, for tax purpose, most times these are adjusted because for tax purpose, uh, uh, instead of giving depreciation, depreciation will not be considered as allowable expense under tax, so it will definitely be disallowed. So what is given in place of depreciation is capital allowance. So, so all these uh, non-taxable income, like uh, profit on disposal of uh, profit on disposal of uh, uh, non-current assets. So all the or losses on disposal of non-current assets, all these will definitely you know be adjusted into the profit because they are not allowed under tax. So general provisions also for bad debts or doubtful debts are not also allowed under that. So these are the most things that cause what? That cause uh, the timing different the, the cost difference between a uh, taxable income and the uh, accounting income. So also this has come to even you know address the future recovery or settlement of current amount of different tax or liabilities in the statement of financial position and recognizing and dealing with losses for income tax purpose so what is the scope you know what are the scopes of uh, IS12 the is wide and covers all domestic foreign taxes which are, are based on entities taxable or taxable profit as well as other taxes such as withholding tax uh, which is payable when an entity pays what pays dividend so it's not necessarily when dividend is paid withholding tax are uh, you know tax deductible at source you know, this are is a form of that you deduct at source before you uh, give what before you give whatever is accrued to that uh, uh, beneficiary to the beneficiary so this is a, even a, a a form of advanced tax to the, the beneficiary but you are you are assisting the beneficiary to pay part of the tax that will be paid in full future, you are paying it now. So it's an advanced tax payment on behalf of the beneficiary of such what of uh, such uh, a transaction or of such a uh, income. So definition of some key terms: what is accounting profit? What is taxable profit? Accounting profit is 
when you take your income and you reduce your what you reduce your expense from it so before you charge your tax but for tax purpose this you know there are some items considered to be expense in a, uh, in accounting so which are not considered you know for uh, tax purpose in what on under taxation so some of those exams so some of those uh, items are depreciation they are profit or loss on what on disposal of what disposal of non current asset you know these are not allowed for tax purpose so definitely they will be what they will be adjusted so what is tax expense tax expense is the aggregate amount included in what aggregate amount included in the determination of what of net profit or loss for the period in respect of what is whether the current and different tax so you know for increase in different tax this will definitely do what this will definitely the the difference that uh, variation so will definitely affect our what affect our uh, tax expense any decrease in it will also affect our tax expense so that is why they are saying it is the aggregate amount so it's the combination of the two so it is only the increase in different tax that will be affect our current tax that is our tax expense so not the whole or what you know the whole different tax so current tax is the amount of what is your current tax the current tax is the one you are paying within that what within that uh, financial uh, uh, period or within that uh, reporting period so that's the one that is referred to as what as current tax the fact of liability these are the amounts of income taxes payable in future for taxable temporary difference because you know uh for example say you have uh, a pp you know a pp when let's say you have a pp so this pp under accounting the rate of depreciation that will be charged under accounting will be different from that that will be charged under what it will be different from that that will be charged under tax so the difference even if you take the current amount that is after reducing the depreciation from the what from the cost if you take the current amount that you compare it with TWDB that the tax reading down value how do you get your tax reading down value the tax reading down value is the cost of that uh, PPE so definitely minus what minus all the uh, uh, allowable uh, what's it called allowances like uh, initial allowance like uh, capital allow uh, like uh, what's it let's say capital allowance generally so when you remove your capital allowance from that capital allowance is in place of what is in place of depreciation for tax purpose so the difference between your current amount and your tax base this is called tax base so the difference between your current amount and the tax base is what will give you what is what will give you your timing difference so whatever you have as timing difference you apply the rate you apply the what the withholding tax rate that's income tax rate so whatever it gives you it is your what it is your uh, differ tax for that period so any increase or decrease in it it is that aspect the increase in it that will go to what that will touch your income statement which will definitely affect your what which will definitely affect your uh, current tax or will be treated as part of your tax expense sorry so here we are saying so in simple terms this means that a differ tax will arise when the current value of an asset is greater than is what is greater than is tax base so when the current value of the asset is less so it is, uh, is less or it is less or when it is less also than is tax base so different assets so what are different assets different assets are the amount of what of income taxes recoverable in the future for deductible timing difference deductible temporary difference carrying forward of unused tax losses and uh, carrying forward of unused tax credit so this is what or uh, these are what makes our deferred what our deferred tax liabilities for temporary difference what do you mean by temporary difference i've earlier explained what temporary difference is so these are differences between the current amount of an asset and what and the uh, of an asset or liability in the statement of financial statement in the statement of financial position and the tax base so temporary difference may either be taxable temporary difference or deductible temporary difference so where is taxable temporary difference so taxable amount in determining the taxable profit or tax loss of future periods when the current amount of what of the asset or liabilities is recovered or settled so where it is deductible where it is deductible that means the temporary difference will result in amounts that are deductible in determining 
taxable profit or loss of future periods when the current amount of the asset or liabilities is what is recovered or settled but it should be noted we should note that in consolidated financial statements temporary dividends are determined by comparing the current amounts of the consolidated assets and liabilities to the to their tax base are determined by the reference to either the consolidated tax returns or where no such returns is what is prepared then you use the individual tax returns of the what of the consolidated entities so the tax base of an asset or liability is the amount attributed to what to that asset or liability for tax purpose so as we said we said when we have a, the cost of a PPE and we have the what and we have the capital allowance so capital allowance minus what minus the uh, capital allowance the cost minus the capital allowance will give us the tax base you know under uh, capital allowance computation it is called what it is called the uh, TWDV tax written down value that's for tax purpose so this tax base of what this tax base of an asset is the amount deductible for tax purposes against any taxable economic benefit that will flow to the entity as it recovers its current amount of the worth of the asset through use of sale so the tax base of a liability is an amount taxable for tax purpose in respect of liabilities in future what in future period so these are, are you know things we need to just uh get uh we need to get we need to get conversant with you know under income taxes so we need to be conversant with all these uh, terms so when they're talking about tax base tax base has to do with uh the the, the it has to do with amount attributable to that asset dollar away for tax purpose so here this amount cost minus uh what is it called cost minus capital allowance is a tax base so when you when the carrying amounts when the carrying amounts when the carrying value of the liability is greater than its tax base or when the carrying uh, value of an asset is less than its tax base a different tax asset may arise so this means for example that when an accrual liability is paid in the future period part or all of that payments may become liable for tax what for tax purposes so then we are now we have recognition and what recognition and measurement criteria accounting treatment so how this how are we expected to treat this in our uh, financial statement so the recognition and measurement criteria for current tax uh, assets and liabilities so what are we expected to or when are we expected to recognize this in our what in our uh, st uh, statement of financial uh, in our financial statement so how do we do how do we account for current asset and liabilities the current tax and liabilities should be recognized you know the current tax should be recognized you know as follows one is when you want to recognize your current tax liability it must you definitely be recognized in your words in your uh, statement of profit or loss so and this will also be recognized to the extent of what of the amount that is being honed extent of to the amount that has been honed or that remains unpaid you know to uh, the relevant tax authority you know where you have paid excess of this what where you have paid excess of this tax what you need to do you need to recognize that excess as well as a as an asset in your statement of financial position because it's seen that uh, the government is doing what is owing you part of that what part of that uh, I mean that amount you have paid in what you have paid in excess you know any change in your tax rate if there is any change in your tax rate that rate is what is a change in estimate and we said uh, we have said earlier that or oh, you still come across it under AS8 that for change in estimate you don't do what you don't adjust retrospectively you adjust prospectively but if it is a change in accounting policy what you need to do is to do what you adjust retrospectively and uh, you know uh, going forward so but for change in estimate you don't adjust retrospectively you adjust prospectively so that is what uh, one needs to uh, take note of under what under 
IS8 that's a change in accounting estimates uh, and error or accounting policy sorry so an error so that's what you need to just uh, observe just take note that where you have paid excess you know of the amount that is due to the relevant tax authority what you need to do is that excess should be recognized as what it should be recognized as an asset you know in your as a d different asset in your world it should be recognized as an asset in your uh, statement of financial what and in, in the statement of financial uh, position so now to different tax assets and liabilities so what are we supposed to do how are we supposed to recognize this in our what in our books of accounts so a different tax liability is recognized for all taxable temporary difference how does it arise it arises as a result of what as a result of timing difference so temporary timing difference a different asset is recognized for all deductible deductible temporary what temporary difference to the extent that it is probable that they are recoverable from future taxable profit so where it is not probable what are we supposed to do this will not be taken as what it will not be taken as a different uh, tax asset so or it will be taken otherwise so a recent uh, loss in is considered evidence that a different tax asset should not be what it should not be uh, recognized to account for different tax under AS12 you first prepare a statement of financial position that shows all the assets and liabilities in the what in the statement of financial position and in the accounting statement of financial position you know and their tax base so you also show any other item that may not have been recognized as assets or liabilities in the accounting statement of financial position but that may have a tax what it may have a tax base you 